What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Randy here with RTS Mobile with the Pandemic Corporation and the Silent Alliance. And I am here today playing some Eve Echoes, and we are giving you a walkthrough on the test server here. We are walking through the upcoming T9 large weapon ships between the battleships and the battle cruisers, such as this beautiful Raven I'm showing you here. Right? This is a T9. Uh, battleship, you will have access to these in a few weeks, pending on your tech level. Now, let's get right to it. The point of this video is to compare all these different ships and walk you through which stats are which, okay? So, let's jump onto my handy dandy spreadsheet. Um, give me a like and sub. Love you guys a long time. Let's jump to the spreadsheet and take a look. All right. So, the first and strongest DPS, as well as the strongest range uh, T9 Battleship coming to you live is the Raven with 1,486 DPS cold, 145 optimal range cold, uh, no fall off. It's got 91.9k EHP, right? Uh, it warps really slow. It travels at a decent speed, to be honest, for a battleship. Uh, its sensor strength is extremely high, but its scan resolution is miserable. So this ship is going to take forever ever to lock onto its targets but you can be assured once it's locked on it is going to unleash an enormous amount of dps uh with its missiles okay number two on the list here is going to be the tempest okay the tempest i believe has the old cannaroos there it's large cannons it's got 1111 dps cold at 63 optimal uh the tempest has huge uh absolutely huge fall off so even though the optimal is only 63 uh it can hit you all the way at 120 cold okay uh its ehp is similar to the raven it's at 95.6k uh the sensor strength on this is also um it's it's actually the worst of the t9 uh large weapon ships coming up and the scan resolution is miserable at 159 okay the Megathrone is the next. The Megathrone is uh, like the Vindicator's wannabe little brother. It has, uh, right, uh, the, the Megathrone has railguns, and it is the third highest DPS uh, ship we're talking about today. Okay, its optimal range is kind of short. It is the shortest optimal range out of the T9 large weapons. Um, its fall off is, you know, fall off is what it is. Not great, not, not terrible. Um, but it doesn't have the range bonus that the Naga 2 has, which we'll get to in a second. The Naga 2 has better range for railguns. Um, so Megathrown versus Naga 2. A little bit higher DPS than the Naga 2. A little bit less range. Um, and then it is a battleship versus a battle cruiser. So different skills there. It has double the EHP. It's at 94.8k EHP. It moves super slow. This thing moves 211 meters a second, right? It's warp prep. Uh, probably because it's so slow, is astronomically fantastical for a battleship. Um, and then it has abysmal scan resolution with 28 sensor strength. The next item is another railgun ship, the Naga 2, right? So if you're trying to pick between the Naga 2, you want more damage, get the Megathrone. You want more range, get the Naga 2. It's really all there is to talk about. Uh, the, scan, the sensor strength on the Naga 2 is pretty significant. It's at 33, uh, 33 sensor strength. And then its scan resolution is 273. Uh, okay, and now we're on to the APOC. This is one of the laser ships. This is the laser pew pew. Oh, I skipped the oracle. Now we're on to the oracle. Uh, okay, we're on to the oracle. Oracle, very good. There it is. The oracle is a uh, pretty decent laser DPS, okay? And these are with uh, beam lasers, not the pulses. So with beam lasers, it's at 967 DPS cold. Uh, its optimal range is 78. It is one of the better uh, ranged ships out there, but nothing compared to its brother, the Apocalypse, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, it does have uh, pretty good. The Oracle 2 actually has the best scan resolution. It's as similar to the scan resolution that you'd see on a cruiser. Uh, 359 is pretty uh, stellar, especially for a battle cruiser, that's for sure. Its sensor strength is 29, and it's overall a very strong ship. Okay, the Apocalypse. Now, you're going to like this. The Apocalypse 
is the slightly lower DPS uh, version of the Oracle. So the Oracle received damage bonuses. The Apocalypse receives um, range bonuses, okay? So the Apocalypse has a little bit less damage than the Oracle, uh, but it fires at much larger range. Uh, absolutely enormous increase to its range there. It's at 108 kilometers cold. So that you can blap someone pretty good with this thing. Um, it's downsides, right? It's slow. It is a battleship, not a battle cruiser. So again, different skill set if you haven't moved into battleships yet. Uh, it warps really slow. It has enormous capacitor for some reason. So you can get uh, E-Ward all day and this thing, will, this thing will live forever, I guess. Uh, the sensor strength is decent. And the scan resolution is pretty good for a battleship, but it's on the low end when you compare all these battle cruisers into the mix. Okay. Uh, the next item we have here is a Dominix. This is the drone ship, right? This is with drone rigs on. Um, it's And now this has not included its missiles, okay? If you put missiles on, you can have another 300 plus DPS. This is just for the drones that I'm talking about for this video. So its drone DPS is at 856 uh, almost 857 drone DPS at 115 kilometer range. Uh, its EHP is the highest at 104k. Its speed is on the low end. Its warp prep is abysmal. It's extremely uh, slow to warp. Its capacitor is neither here nor there. And then its sensor strength at 28 with scan res at 151. Uh, those are on the low end, right? So with that sensor uh, scan resolution, you're going to really be taking forever to lock. Um, but I guess all the battleships are, are pretty beat up on the scan res. Okay, the last ship we're going to talk about today is the Tornado 2. This is another cannon ship. This is friends with the Tempest, right? The Tornado 2 is like the Tempest buddy. So the Tempest is the battleship version, higher DPS, shorter range. Uh, sorry, same range, shorter fall off. The Tornado 2 has lower DPS. Uh, it has the same optimal range, but it has much greater fall off. So with this greater fall off, you can uh, be hitting people at over 130 km cold and still be dealing damage to them, okay? Uh, it's the fastest ship out here. So the Tornado 2 is by far the fastest speed ship that we're talking about today. Uh, Almost 40% faster than its, 30% uh, faster than its closest competitor. The warp prep is pretty, pretty abysmal for a battle cruiser. Uh, its, its capacitor is absolutely horrible. If you want to cut the Achilles heel of a tornado, just, just go neutralize it once, and it'll be floating there like a potato. Okay, and then its sensor strength and scan resolution are, uh, they're, they're way up there. The scan res is the highest. It's going to lock on extremely quickly. It's faster than some cruisers. So this is overall a very good, uh, very good ship for long distance blapping because it locks on quick, has good range from the get go, uh, travels quickly, so it can get away from ships trying to trying to neutralize it, and uh, overall uh, good good alpha sniper. So that is the analysis today. I don't want this video to take too long. Check the comments in the description. I'll post a link to this information. Thanks for watching. Love you guys long time. Hopefully this video helped you. Make an educated decision on what you're going to like there. Uh, and there we go. Okay. So, Randy out. Like and sub. See you next time.